Nagin Farsad here. I'm a TED fellow. We're part of that band of renegades that runs around TED being cool and innovating and hoarding snacks. But I'm actually a comedian, which makes me the most useless of the TED fellows. Oh my God, I wish I was there with you in the same room and like less than six feet away, just like sitting right next to you, um, which makes it sound like I'm trying to stalk you. I'm not trying to stalk you. I just wish I could just be there near you and touch you. Not like touch you like that. Maybe just like I do a nice head pat. It's not like that. It's just like I'd want to breathe the same air as you and smell your smell. No, no, no. That is not what I'm, I, um, this is not coming out the right way. This global pandemic has been so crazy with the various government responses ranging from baffling to Angela Merkel. How do we not have enough PPE? Not having enough PPE is like a TED conference, not having enough beanbag chairs. I mean, unthinkable. I'm a New Yorker, so I'm actually in one of the hotspots. Uh, by the way, hotspot used to mean fun. You know, and now it's taken on the exact opposite meaning. It used to be like, oh, we're going to Chez Robert tonight. It's a new hot spot. And now it's like, oh my God, don't go to Chez Robert tonight. It's a new hot spot. I can only imagine how Tedsters are spending their quarantine. Helen Walters probably just learned Finnish randomly. I know, and before you say it, Finnish and Estonian are closely related. They're both Uralic languages. Shut up, you're nerds, we get it. I heard Chris Anderson has a sourdough starter kit. He is just waiting to catch the wild yeast from the air. And then he's probably gonna memorialize the entire experience with a PowerPoint presentation. Ayo, because of the TED Talks. You know what, they're not all winners. Um, or maybe they are, I don't know if you're laughing or not. So that's where I'm at. Though at least through all of this, we can gather through the power of video conferencing. Though I think we can all agree that video conferencing is like using a sex doll. Like it'll get the job done. But wouldn't it be great if there was another person in the room? <laughs> you know. Ooh, here's a little video conferencing tip. Take a photo of yourself actively listening and then make that your profile photo. Turn off your video and then you can take a nice nap. No one will notice. I'm pretty sure no one will notice. A couple of people might notice. Did Stephanie notice in our last call? No, I'm pretty sure no one will notice. No one will notice. They will all notice. Um, I, for one, have been looking at old TED Talks, and I think we're gonna have to rethink some of those Tedsters work. Like Sir Ken Robinson, he did a TED Talk asking, do schools kill creativity? And we're finding that out right now because maybe you have a bunch of George O'Keefe's and Maya Angelou's running around your house. But I don't think the question is, do schools kill creativity? I think the real question is, do schools stop parents from killing their children? Oh my God. <laughs> Not having childcare is interesting, huh? <sighs> I have a 15 month old and um, I love her mostly. Her terrible twos coincided with the start of the quarantine. I'm really half the woman I once was. I also looked at Malcolm Gladwell, and you all remember he defined connectors as people in a community who know a lot of people and have a habit of making introduction. Well, Malcolm, now those people are called super spreaders and they're very dangerous. Brene Brown is like, you guys, I said to be vulnerable, but not vulnerable to a pandemic. I mean, we completely misunderstood her. By the way, Brene was like, I am against global pandemics. Like she, from the get go, she came out like, I'm against, I don't, I don't want this. You know what I mean? I'm like anti-global pandemic. Bill Gates is like, I warned you in my 2015 talk titled the next outbreak, we're not ready. So nobody listened, literally. A lot of people say a lot of things, but that was the one we should have listened to that someone said. Ah. Okay, <laughs> do you hear that? That's my wonderful baby having a meltdown in the other room. All right, moving along. No, okay. That's my husband heckling me. You're losing the funny. All right, it's working. we're working from home, so that's what, this is what it's like. Oh, it's Earth Day, 
And in honor of Earth Day, I want us to get on the same page about the pronunciation of Greta Thunberg's name. Is it Thunberg? Is it Thunberg? Is it Thunberg? Is it Thunberg? Is it Thunyards? I don't know. We report. You decide. Literally, can you decide? Like globally, we just need to get the pronunciation down. Also, Greta, oh my God, thank you for your leadership. Keep doing all of that because the adults are like not going to do it. Still not doing it. Oh, but here's the thing. The Earth is actually doing pretty well with people not driving or riding planes. In fact, NASA just released a satellite image of the Earth just doing a big smiley face. But with the Earth doing so well, I have a conspiracy theory that Al Gore started this whole thing because he has been gabbing about climate change forever. Right? I don't know. Hmm? Could be. Right? I don't know. Here's something interesting about coronavirus, though. It doesn't affect women as much as it affects men, which makes it a feminist global pandemic. Ooh, new conspiracy theory. Gloria Steinem started this whole thing. I don't know. I mean, someone post it on Reddit. Let's just see where that goes. There might be some new interesting developments from this whole experience, like the way we consume entertainment. I think there could be a real renaissance in mime. I mean, think about it. Mimes, they don't touch any real surfaces and they don't speak. So there's like no mouth spray. Word on the street is they don't even breathe. I think it's the perfect virus art. Oh, here's a wall. Huh? Oh, what's that? Uh, it's like a low ceiling. Oh, what's this? It's a refrigerator. <laughs> Don't you dare throw that mime juice back at me! All right, you guys, and those were my ideas worth spreading. Spreading like the coronavirus. Ayo! <laughs> Thank you, I'll be here all week. Literally, and then several weeks after that because we're in the middle of a shelter in place order. But tune in next time uh, where I'll be joined by Al Gore, Bill Gates, Greta Thunberg, 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 the uh, jury's still out, and Gloria Steinem, all on the same panel. Because this is Ted. I mean, it could happen. Thanks for joining me, Ted peeps. <laughs>